This morning, tickets for Sunday's matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are sold out. About 8,000 seats in Lambeau will be filled due to COVID protocol. Well, even with that level of turnout, it is expected to have some sort of impact on local businesses in the area. Now we're joined this morning by Mark Cass of the Milwaukee Business Journal. And Mark, you know, the latest estimates on economic impact for even a single game at Lambeau Field that I've been reading, you know, just for the Green Bay area, somewhere between 12 and $15 million. Yep. Nowhere near that bump, obviously, expected this time around, but some fans better than none probably for businesses. Oh, yeah. I mean, because it's been a hard year for them. Think of this. I mean, they've lost all the games this year. They've lost the fans who come for the weekends, who spend money in hotels and restaurants. So it's been a bad year. It's been a hard year for them to have any fans up there is good. But obviously nowhere near where, I mean, where it could be for a playoff game. And playoff games are huge because the people come in for all weekend. They spend, you know, spend lots of money there. So this is a small step in the right direction. And Mark, I would imagine similar story for the Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, we have the yeah. Lakers coming to town tonight, which would have been a marquee game with LeBron James and yes. those businesses and bars around Pfizer Forum really feeling it. Yeah, I mean, it's been a hard year for them already, obviously, with what's been going on, but not having that occur is, is huge. You think about the playoffs a couple years ago and kind of what was going on in that region. Yeah, people there all day, all night in the restaurant spending money. It was big. They have the Lakers in town tonight. It would have been a huge game. You would have had a lot of people around the arena spending money in the restaurants, in the stores, walking around, being great. A lot of energy in that area, and, and there will be nothing there tonight. So that's really tough. Hopefully that will improve over the next couple of months, but right now it's very hard for them not to have anybody in the stands. You know, Mark, and even at uh, all of that, as some people are going back to bars and restaurants and experiencing game day, even at limited capacity, these business owners have to walk a tight line. I was reading about yeah. Stadium View, which I, I, Brian and I lived and worked in Green Bay for many years. We know it well, right there by Lambeau Field. They packed a lot of people in there for the Packers' last playoff game, and then they took all this criticism on social media. It's a fine line for them. It really is. When you think about what's going on throughout the area is that, you know, they have to have enough in there to, you know, to really try to make money, but yet not really over the line. So it's a hard line to walk. So that's why you're seeing more outdoor seating. You're seeing more heat lamps. You're seeing more igloos outside. You're seeing you really try to be creative to come up with things. And I think you'll see that, see that up in Green Bay this weekend. You'll see outside seating, tents, things to try and clean because these are huge opportunities. And, and if you don't take advantage of them, you're going to really lose money. Well, with baseball coming up fairly soon here, hopefully, yep. at least at this point, are you are you getting the indication that there could be fans at American Family Field this season? You know, I do, but probably not right at the beginning. Everything you hear is kind of later in the season. You hear, you know, in terms of half stadiums are kind of stadiums really occurring later in summer. I do think at some point it's going to happen. You're seeing it across the country in some NBA arenas a few fans at least so i think hopefully sometime this spring you'll see a few fans out there but you won't see full stadium is really for quite a while all right mark cass always appreciate you getting up early for us with always your good to be here <laughs> thanks so much to learn more about this and other business stories head to bizjournals.com milwaukee <laughs>